Good evening and welcome to Everyday KT number 13. Today is what's on everybody's mind. I call it a regimental commando or what is under the kilt. So for everyone who's always been asking the question, constantly wondering what is under the kilt, the, uh, the most important answer is it's none of your business. No. In all honesty, you're basically asking to look underneath a man's clothing. That's not cool. You know, it. imagine any guy walking up to a strange woman and saying, hey, what's under your skirt? They'd get slapped and probably sued, or God only knows what else. So, basic answer is, it's none of your business. That being said, if you really want to know, go up and ask the guy and it just depends on what uh, what he might say. You might get a legitimate answer. You might get a snide comment. You might get something worse. You know, that's up to you and it's a, that's a risk you're going to take. So for the guys, commando or not. So there's a lot of discussion on the propri proper way of wearing a kilt. You know, you can't wear underwear. You can. You're not a man if you don't wear underwear. All crap. It's up to you. Completely and totally up to you. Um, I would use, uh, I would err on the side of caution if you do decide to go uh, regimental, as it were. Uh, keep in mind where you're going, what you're going to be doing, and who you're going to be around. You know, if you're going to be around kids, if you're going to be out and about where the odds of someone seeing are high, and, you know, you never know who you're going to run into. So, be careful. Um, if you're going out for shenanigans on the town, that's a little bit less of an issue than if you're going to a daycare or going to school, going, I don't know, zip lining. Been there, done that. Commando is not the way to go. Bull riding commando, not something I would recommend. Don't do it. Um, but it's up to you. Um, old school tradition is command regimental commando you know no underwear um it had a lot to do especially in the wars uh with hygiene uh, there's no cloth on there anybody in the military who've been hiking you know what what foot rod jungle rod is on your feet well imagine getting that somewhere else because you have had the same pair of underwear on for six days straight it helps alleviate a lot of those issues um it, just by not having any on so that's uh that's basically it. You know, if you're gonna wear underwear, that's completely up to you. Um, if you're going to, the style I would suggest is whatever's comfortable. If you like one style versus another, the only person who's gonna be looking at it is you and whoever you actively invite to see it. So wear whatever you want. Um, I find boxer briefs are usually the best bet. Um, you can usually get them cheap. They keep things where they need to be, and they're fairly comfortable. That being said, you know, if you want to wear something a little more daring or a little more uh, covering, completely up to you. Nobody's, nobody has a right to tell you what you can and can't wear under your kilt because it's your kilt, your body, your underwear. I mean, as long as your uh, significant other doesn't get too upset with whatever it is you've got on, go for it. And uh, today, let's see, uh, let's see what the old kiltology has to say about anything. Ha! <laughs> So uh, I've heard that uh, Girl Scout cookie time is coming up, and uh, this is uh, quite appropriate. Uh, Kiltology number 112. Even the stoutest kilt provides no protection from the calling of a box of frozen tagalongs. Those of you who don't know what tagalongs are, you are missing out. So again, this is KT with Everyday KT. Be strong. Put a kilt on.